I'm definitely interested in the cryptocurrency realm. I've been looking at that for a long time, not just because it's, you know, where people are making millions of dollars, but all the technology behind it, I really do think can help the music industry. Um, main reason being is like, um, there's these things in um, called smart contracts in, in, uh, in ecosystems like Ethereum and Cardano. Um, there's there's uh, uh, cryptocurrencies ran on a blockchain. I, I don't want to explain the whole cryptocurrency thing. I, I don't want to start with that. I'll just, I'll just say this. Cryptocurrency is really kind of created from a blockchain, which allows a bunch of users throughout the world to be able to verify um, information, encrypted information which allows uh, information to be essentially decentralized as opposed to it being coming from one main source that controls everything. It's decentralized. So everybody has a part in this ecosystem that allows governance to happen, right? And so um, when we're talking about NFTs, which are non-fungible tokens, that's what NFT stands for. What that is, is pretty much a, a, a contract that is created um which is we're calling like for example we're calling it like a smart contract is created a smart contract what it is is a contract that um is verified through the blockchain so let's say for example um i create a contract for a piece of uh music that i'm making and and, and this is all theoretical right now uh, i'm sure there's there's, a, there's actual examples on it there's actually a rolling stone article um on it if you guys want to read more that i think they did a pretty good job of explaining this and, and the potential use case of it but essentially, like these NFTs with these smart contracts, let's say, for example, I put out an album um, through the Ethereum uh, network. Maybe there's an app for musicians where you can put your album out and have it be uh, 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 through an NFT. So uh, the non-fungible token is like a, a, a token that is like, imagine buying like a signed Babe Ruth baseball card or something, right? Or a, a signed Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth baseball. And when you buy that, typically, I'm not sure if you ever bought a collector's item, typically there's some sort of like signed paper of authentication. Mm -hmm. NFTs are essentially that paper of authentication, but digital. Um, and it can't be, uh, uh, you can, you know, you can probably forge that little piece of authenticated paper. You can't do the same thing with an NFT. So it's, it's encrypted. It's almost like, um, you know, creating, using that encryption, uh, like, like to, verify that something is is uh real or something is not copied something isn't stolen something isn't pirated so it solves that issue of piracy of of reselling of fakes so on and so forth what it also does with these smart contracts through um these nfts is, is creates a whole economy that wouldn't be created if um you weren't able to track um sales digitally through an nft so for example let's say i put out an album you know, we put out the Grindhouse, uh, you know, album or something like that. And we sell the album to somebody who buys it. Um, and they then take it. It's a great album. They listen to it. And then they're like, okay, I'm going to sell it. And they sell it to somebody else, um, probably for a little less money because it's used or whatever like that. But they sell it to somebody else. Typically in real life, we don't see the money that they, that they made from selling what we've sold to them. You know, they, they sold it. They get the money. And that's that. We sold it to the first person. They enjoyed it. We got their money. But after that, um, we don't see any more money. With, what NFTs could do is these smart contracts, when we sell a piece, a product, a digital product, like you know an album or something like that, when we sell a product to somebody, yes, we're making that first transaction. But should they then turn around and then sell that to somebody else, that it's written, it, we can write it in the contract that any resale that's, that's created from the original sale be a portion of that be given back to the original creator. 